So it's to introduce my next guest. So my next guest is Stella from Video Wise. There she is. Stella is very smiley and very energetic, and I love it because she's a great guest. <laughs> Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> oh, but I'm supposed to click stuff, aren't I? There's this thing on, it is. Oh. Hello. Hello, Dan. So the first part. The first part that we're going to show is a video, and we will see if it works. That's it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I guess from my side, so I spoke about video-wise like a year and a half at one of our first, or probably our first conference that we've had. So I'm a kind of a massive believer in, in, in what you guys do and the kind of like being quite almost like pioneers of really understanding where the market was going to go, potentially necessarily before the market realized it itself, and yeah. it's like now catching up. So I guess, so take us through, like, why is VideoWise effective? First of all, put your hands up if you've ever heard of VideoWise before. Look at that. Right, so we've, we're catering to the right audience because we've tried not to go over what is it because you guys know what it is. Why is it effective? I should say everything, which is the absolute truth, but I'm going to focus on three things. First of all, I think it's important to mention the background of VideoWise and pain points that were being sold over the last year with a radical product improvement, which is that we started realizing that the reason why brands are not retaining their customers and not having effective conversions is because the, their landing pages and product pages in itself are not fully functional. We started realizing that once when you have effective time on site added by the shopper visiting your page and that seamless flow of the user enjoying your website, that ultimately they're going to be influenced into making their purchase. So we started there. We asked ourselves, what do we do to get rid of the issue of page speed being impacted by all the flashy elements and content that can be published on their product pages. And when we fix that, we ultimately also the answered the question of adding additional time on site per user. And what we're seeing when it comes to sessions is in some instances, we're seeing clients adding like five to six minutes on average per shopper engaging with the content on the website of the brand. And ultimately, the conversion is there because A, your shopper is going to have a very informed choice and they're going to bring an informed decision because while engaging with the video content and while clicking through product details and realizing how the product functions, they won't be like on the verge of swinging and going away. And thanks to the fact that the page speed is not being impacted, in those crucial moments when they're like, I should click and then everything breaks and there's a glitch in the metrics and they're like, these guys don't know what they're doing. They just like close the window. We're solving those swing shop shoppers as well. Ultimately, as mentioned before, the conversions are on the rise, time on site is on the rise, and ultimately we do have help brands increase their number of orders. I think one of the key things here as well is that, which I want to speak to everyone about, is that people always focus on conversion rate, but what people don't focus on is actually really education and actually the value of really optimizing the video on your site, even if the conversion rate doesn't have some kind of significant change, actually you're educating someone. And the like is the more you educate them, the more attention you get, the more likely you're gonna get a purchase in the future. So it's the long-term vision, not just measuring of has that person converted right now. Exactly. Now Stella, tell me as well about the external use of video wise, because for me, I think this is something that people probably don't know about and I think is super interesting to, uh, to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually people like to focus on their own product pages and we start off from that. We are supporting you to bulk upload and edit tons of widgets and video contents and publish them on your product pages. But recently we saw also that DGC brands have the tendency of using the video content also off-site. So we came very happy to, to follow that trend as well. So we are currently supporting off-site campaigns in forms of direct integrations with email automation, to, uh, automation tools. So you can, for instance, by HTML Builder, make entire shop video experience within your within your newsletters or even individual emails that you're sending out. We are supporting also SMS and PR articles. Obviously, needless to say that we are going to have your personal shareable links, which function in a way that you can link them or hyperlink them to any type of content or to any type of social media that you as a brand use. And absolutely to emphasize that every single off-site channel that we support and everything that we do via omni-channel distribution is fully trackable within the VideoWise dashboard. So we're going to be tracking your shopper's journey every step of the way within the five-day window attribution so you can sit back and relax and see how the content converts. I think this is really important for PR as well. So if you're producing a new brand hero video and it's being produced, uh, you can actually shop of all in a newspaper article, for example, is really valuable from that perspective. So yeah. one thing as well, so site speed, I spoke about it, massively important. Very briefly tell us why you're not impacted, why you're not impacting Your favorite speed. topic. Then. My favorite Your favorite topic. topic. 
Okay, to start off, I'm trying to, I'll try to tell this not techy as possible. First of all, once when you're uploading your video assets to the dashboard, we're not going to be utilizing like all of those components at the same time. And two important factors here to have in mind is that A, we take the video and components that a video is built off are highly optimized video components, which are specifically designed for e-commerce purposes. And then what we do with those is that everything that VideoWise is hosting and then publishing on brands' websites is being lazy loaded, ultimately meaning that we're going to delay necessary loading times in order to increase the performance of your product pages while also saving saving system system performance as well by ultimately loading just images and then the click and playing of the video is going to happen once when actually necessary. Due to those two pillars, what we're seeing is that A, when we're running page performance tests via Google, for instance, at for the last year, we had zero red flags in sense of page speed. And secondly, what we're seeing when testing is that compared to Vimeo, our videos are loading two times faster. And compared to YouTube, although we love YouTube, we are a YouTube partner, our videos are loading actually five times faster compared to YouTube. Great. The key, key thing here is it's a thumbnail fo image that then loads into a video so it doesn't slow you down. Briefly talk us through what does the setup involve? You talk to me. <laughs> no, so the setup is super simple. We take extra pride in, t in our customer success team, basically. We are the, one of the rare services that is offering white glove implementation. That means that what we're going to do is after you sign up is that we're going to bring you up to a private Slack channel. The team is going to audit your website. They're going to build a strategy based on the content they found on their website and your social media. And then once when that is done over like a day or two, basically, what happens is they're going to also sit down with you, implement the entire, entire strategy to your web page, and then they're going to be there to track the performance and analytics every single day. When it comes to just like the setup in sense of signing up, for instance, it's like you can be live within 24 hours. In the moment when you're signing up, as soon as you sign up, you have access to the dashboard. You can start, play, start playing around with the dashboard. However, if you find me later at drinks, talk to me. I might throw in a little benefit or a discount or anything like. And we would make sure that you're not on your own. The setup involves white glove implementation and a dedicated developer and CS team who's going to help you out every step of the way. Beautiful. So talk me through some of your latest features. And I think there's two in particular. And the first one, I think I'm really keen being a massive advocate of zero party data collection strategies for, I hope people know what I mean by that. It's, it's collecting data that isn't basically directly given to you from someone making a purchase. So it could be someone completing a quiz or a lead form and actually making sure that actually that most of the people that go to your site, you actually get their data for further engagement rather than losing all that data because they drop off your site straight away or don't make a purchase, for example. Yeah, before we go into the latest product features, I think there's one thing important for us to mention, which is that we are super, for us, it's very important that our brands are feeling as if every video wise component is here for their brand identity. And I think Leonie mentioned one interesting thing, Leonie from Paul Valentine, which is that users and shoppers really take a lot of detail and pride into feeling as if everything is a personalized experience for them. And that ultimately makes them constantly coming back for more. And this is exactly the philosophy behind VideoWise. Every single content that you're using as a brand and that gets uploaded to your product pages or offsite is fully customizable in sense of colors and headlines and call to action buttons. We support enormous amount of formats from carousels to you know linking your Instagrams for stories, for instance. And then you're basically taking all of those widgets and building the shopper experience and the shopper journey. Now. When it comes to specific product features tied to that flow of brand identity is that we recently introduced lead generation caption forms. So if you have your dedicated team that's also doing lead gen, for instance, we can do that for you via using shoppable videos as just one of the examples. Second thing that I actually forgot to mention to you when we were chatting before is that we recently developed a feature which is allowing you to have different videos. One section is going to be for the new shoppers that are visiting your website, and then the other video can be actually placed for those who are returning. 
which is an extra level of taking care of your shoppers and making this entire shoppable experience for them as if it was custom tailored for them and nobody else. That I think that's the, the product mad magic behind, behind VideoWise. And then ultimately, yes, the collection data is not such an issue because at that point they are inclined to engage with the content. They are inclined to come back for more just because the way the content is being placed in front of them and the way that the content actually influenced them. I think it's a really important point as well because, again, within game changers, quite often people refer to returning customers as retention. Like You just have your retention customers and you treat them all as you purchase once and that's it. But we see, and I think a lot of the industry see it, as there's kind of four sections. So someone's made a purchase from you once, but actually, how do you know they've even used the product? That's someone who's actually there for, someone who's a product utilizer, someone who's used the product to second stage. Then someone who actually comes back and buys from you again is then someone who's kind of a retention customer. And then you've got an advocate. So really you've got four stages of someone who's gone through from just that initial purchase to actually being like, I'm going to tell friends and family and loved ones about it. So actually each one of those deserves its own individual strategy, not this, they've purchased from me once, right? They get exactly the same strategy as someone who's purchased from me five times and really loves me because they're completely different messaging. It's really important. Great, so talk me through what you think the future of video is going to look like? <laughs> the future of video is video-wise, obviously. But have in mind one thing. Traditional videos are not coping with the latest trends of the short attention span of shoppers in that particular sense. And I, know, I'm, I don't think that brands are utilizing their current videos in the smartest ways possible. I think even the social media could evolve a bit more into personalizing their message out to the shopper shop, shopping audience. So I think the future of video is in utilizing content better for brands in particular. And in that sense, think about the idea when we were talking about unboxing, also by Leone, right? We were talking about, I, I was thinking about it in that sense that unboxing, what could be the future? But the future is in a sense that with a video wise, you'll be able to post those unboxing videos and every element of unboxing process is going to be linked and make an interaction and then guide you through the journey of recommended widgets or products or packagings or subscriptions even. The future is in, in, is in using your present and existing video content in a smarter way, monetizing it every second of it in the smartest possible way and making sure that as long as the video is actually lasting, that every single second is utilized in the sense that you sell with the every second of viewing time uh, of the video. And so far we were not addressing that. We were talking about uh, inf influencers and we're talk about, talking about subscriptions and discounts and somebody mentioned that like discounts are dead, we don't do discounts anymore. We need to make the entire personalized experience with our videos and our content to actually resonate with the audience we want to reach. And I think this is something that we are doing particularly well in videos, what we wise with shoppable videos. Bro, we've got time for one question if anyone has any questions. No? Beautiful. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>